Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the GVM SD300B from Great Video Maker. I will start this video off by saying that GVM did reach out to me to make this review. They did supply me with this light. No money has traded hands and I'm able to give you my honest opinion of this light. I'm gonna be breaking down the positives and negatives of it and going through some pretty cool features that it actually has. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's get into it. Lighting is the most important thing when it comes to video making. Next to your camera and your lenses, you definitely need to have proper lighting, be it three point, single point, bouncing, light off of other uh, other things to you. All of this is important when it comes to creating the image you wanna create. This light is awesome because it's bicolor, has a high output, it's pretty color accurate. I'll show you some clips down the road of, of what that looks like. But overall, I'm very impressed for the price. At $389, you get a solid light that does a lot for the money. When you put this up against other brands, which I'm not gonna mention, it's worth the money. And I'll go through those reasons why right now. The first up on the list is the high color accuracy. In post, and you can see in some of these clips that it just looks pretty good. And this is shooting at a daylight Kelvin, so 5600 Kelvin. I, I have done a few projects, not many, at 3200 Kelvin um, with this light. I've lit, I'll, I'll show you some, some YouTube shots or, or like some studio shots with this light as well to kind of give you that, that color accuracy and kind of see what it looks like. And you can see the difference compared to what it is now. In post when grading, I have not had any issues with this light, huge different color casts or anything like that. So I will say that does stand true. High color accuracy is something that you can count on when using this light. Second positive is a very versatile color temperature range. It just really provides the flexibility you need to get the proper color temperature for the environment in which you're in. If you're shooting something outside and you need to dial this in up to 5600 Kelvin, you can, and it's cloudy outside, you need to go down to like 44, 40, 4300, 4500 Kelvin, you can do that too. And same thing goes down into the warmer stuff. If your interior and your overhead lights and you need to use those overhead lights are 2700 Kelvin, you can set this guy up and uh, not have to worry about it. You can match that color. So that's awesome, honestly. Number three is the powerful output of this light. Having 300 watts is huge on set. And one of these can definitely light your subject. You don't have to worry about having multiple lights, albeit if you do have multiple lights, you could set up different lighting scenarios. But if you're doing just a one camera interview, and you need just one light, this would definitely get that job done. Or if you need to fill a room, bounce it off of something, this would be a great light for that. Also, if you have other lights and you need to put this above you as kind of like a you know rim light or something, that this would do a great job at that also. So the high output, being able to, to go from you know very low all the way up to 300 and being able to adjust that, that makes it really nice. Just having that flexibility on set is huge. That is another great thing about this light is having high output and it just makes it really nice on set. We also have a silent cooling system on this. You can hear that here. This is imperative on set if you have mics, like I've got a mic here, all the lights in here are, are pretty quiet. This falls right in line with, with the other brands that, that I've used and have and I'm using right now. Um, I have not noticed any kind of high fan noise in any of my videos that I've used this on. I will show you, it will go quiet and you can hear what it sounds like. turn the audio up a little bit so you can kind of hear that. It's very quiet and I have not, again, noticed it at all in any of my videos. So that's another positive. We're good on that one. Number five is a portable design. Now this one's a little difficult because a lot of lights today are portable. Um, I will give it to this though, that it is portable as this is the brick right here and you can just put that on there and you can plug that in 110 to anything you want. They also have an accessory where you could use a V-mount uh, battery or you know, wh whatever battery you have, I'm sure they have a, a fitting for it, but V-mount specifically, you could plug into this and you could plug this into the back of the unit. Um, 
So it, it, it has those accessories, which make it portable. So if you're shooting something outside, this would definitely get the job done if you don't need necessarily to have, or if you don't have access to like 110 um, at the location, you could definitely run this off of a battery and that does make it portable. But like I said, a lot of lights today are portable and have portable design. So yeah, take that one with a grain of salt if you want, that's up to you. Number six is app control. You can control this guy from an app. You know, that makes it really nice when you're on set and you wanna strike it, or if you want to adjust the color temperature, or you need to adjust the, the actual output of the light. I mean, it's a pretty common thing nowadays to have that in your lighting setup, but it is cool to have. If you're using mixed brands, that will get a little convoluted because you're gonna have to open two or three different apps. But if you do go with all GVM products, um, you will not be sorry you did because you can adjust all of them if you want to with that same app, uh, which is pretty cool. I mean, in today's day and age, it should be just part of every feature on everything, but as you all know, it's not always the case. They do have it included in their package, so that is nice. Number seven is its dimming capabilities. You can go from zero all the way to 100, and it looks great along that entire range of, of of output. Again, this is just something that's really nice to have. It is still a feature in a light like this to talk about, and I think that it's an important one for this one because it is smooth. Uh, it's not like notchy, so you can adjust it, very very fine tuning of it. You know, some of the lights I'm using right now, when you roll the, the wheel to adjust the, the power output, or the output of the light, it gets kind of notchy. You can kind of see it go, you know, like notched wise. Whereas this guy, if you're doing something where you wanna like make the sunrise or something, it's very smooth in its operation of going from zero to 100. So that it is, that's a pretty cool feature, honestly. Number eight on the list is the Bowens mount capability. Having a Bowens mount on this light, it makes a ton of sense and it's really nice to have because you can use all the accessories from GVM because they have light modifiers like soft boxes or spots or th things like that. Plus you can use other accessories on the market. I'm not trying to, to divert away from GVM, but it is something that you, know, you may have another brand's light modifier. It's a Bowens mount, so it's a universal thing to have, which is really nice. And I think that's a huge po positive for them is they didn't go anything proprietary where you have to buy something specifically for GVM, as a lot of brands do in today's day and age, they made it industry standard, which is awesome to have. So great price point with a Bowens mount. Say no more, take my money. Flexibility and power options, including AC power and a battery. This just ensures that you can use this light in various locations. Honestly, regardless of the you know varied electrical options that you may have. So, positive. Okay, now that we've covered the positives of this light, let's go through some of the negatives. And there aren't many, and it's mainly shipping, honestly. I don't think it's something that GVM did. Uh, there is a little bit of a movement in this light. Let me take off the Bowens mount guy so there's no noise there. But you can hear See, let me just hold everything that can you hear that sound in there. There's something moving around in there, and I'm not quite sure what it is. It has not affected the lights output or quality of lighting or anything like that. Um, but it is there, and I do get a little nervous about it. That's just my own thing. I think it was, you know, in shipping something may have happened to it, but it doesn't affect the actual light itself. So take that with another grain of salt, but it is something just to be cautious of. The other negative is, again, with shipping, um, my Bowens mount little guy came to me like this. So that kind of sucks. Um, doesn't affect the way it actually works, but it definitely doesn't look great. And when I'm on set or something, and if I do use this, which I don't use this often, I'm usually using something else, uh, like a modifier or a softbox or something along those lines. Um, it doesn't look great. So that is something that I would be cautious of. Again, shipping, 
I don't think this is on them. They're not gonna send this out of the factory, especially to someone who's gonna review it looking like this. But maybe a little bit more padding in the box or something along those lines may, uh, may be necessary for this. The only other thing, and this isn't a negative, this is more or less just a observation. I've put about six hours on it, which isn't a lot, but enough to get a good idea of how it functions, how it works, the color, that kind of stuff, I definitely think. But overall, long-term review, which I'll do in the future for sure, some of these things do make me a little bit nervous when you hear something's shaking in there when you first get it. I don't think that's a reason not to purchase it, especially if you're on a budget trying to, you know, get a great lighting setup for a cheaper price. I wouldn't say they're cheap, because by no means is this cheap. It's very, it's well made very well. It's all brushed aluminum, anodized. There are some plastic pieces on here. There's a lot of metal on it, and it seems very robust, and it looks, it feels like it can take some damage. Just keep that in mind, that there could be things down the road that are unforeseen. And that's with any brand, that's with any light. I've had two aperture lights go out on me in the past. Unfortunately, you know, it's it sucks because you need to either rent something or order something in if you're relying on that. So all these brands, they do a good job. And I think that GVM is not gonna be any different because it, it does all the things that the other brands do. And something's better. You know, being able to have this nice adjustment of your, um, from zero to 100, you know, you can't go wrong when it comes to a light like this. So yeah, a couple other notable things. Um, one little frustration thing is it has dual adjusters. So you can see here, this is an adjuster and this is an adjuster to, to adjust the, being able to um, you know, tilt and tilt the light up and down. I wish there was only one, honestly. I like that there's two because it does feel very secure and you're like, this light's definitely not moving at all. But when I'm trying to adjust things quickly, I have to always go back to, oh, I need to adjust it on both sides, which can get a little bit frustrating because I, I, on all my other brands I use, it's just one side and it's one you know side that, that you don't have to tighten it up very much and it doesn't move at all. So having one side adjustment would be really nice. I do, it's kind of a safety feature, which I, I like. So that's what that is. I will say that the fit and finish and the build quality of this light is second to none. It's really well made. It's all made out of aluminum. Uh, you have an anodized part up here that looks really good. It looks really clean. It looks robust and it's gonna do a great job uh, for years to come, honestly, as long as the internals last. I think it's gonna be a great light for, for me and potentially for you, so. Touch real fast on a couple other items that GVM sent to me along with it. And this is part of the package that you get when you order this light. This is a soft box or the, um, this is a little soft box right here. And I actually really dig this thing. It has a little Velcro guy. I don't like that this hangs off. I wish you could detach this when you're not using it. Uh, let me make sure that you can't. Yeah, no, it's sewn into the actual soft box. So that is, Little annoyance, but it's not a make or break deal. You just, you know, do something like that. So you can still, um, you know, have it on there. But it's actually really nice. So it works kind of like other brands in the market as of right now. You just pop it all the way out. You know how these work now. Again, this is something that will, over time, we'll see how it, how it works long term. And as of right now, I'm pretty pretty impressed with it. It gives off a good amount of light. It looks pretty clean. It's easy to put up and easy to take down. It's pretty good size. So I mean, if you want, to, if you just wanted to use just this, um, it's definitely going to do the job, which is really cool. So it's a little smaller. I, I would like one, you know, probably double the size of this, as I think the bigger the soft the bigger the lighting source that you can get, the better off you'll be. But it definitely will do, get the job done if you're looking for like a YouTube situation, like a studio or, um, or if you just need this, you could definitely just use this for, for a lighting setup. And I'll show you right now what that looks like as just the single light by itself. The other thing they sent, and this is also part of the package, is a light stand. And this is a really nice heavy duty light stand. I'm, I I'm, was pretty impressed. Granted, I, I didn't know a ton about GVM before I got this product. 
Um, I did start studying up on it just to make this video and also just to kind of get an idea of who they are in the industry. But I was very shocked and surprised at how well of quality this light stand is. It comes with the lighting kit if you get the $389 package, I believe, which is really cool. It's an air cushioned one, so if you drop this down, it's gonna go down really slow instead of just slamming down, which scares the hell out of you if you've ever witnessed that before. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's just really nice to have something that works properly and is really quality. Everything tightens up really nice. I mean, it's hard to talk about a light stand for more than a couple minutes. It's a, it's a really quality light stand and I do think that this included with this package speaks dividends to the brand in general. This, this is good quality stuff. And I, uh, if you've watched any other YouTube videos, you know that I, I really do try to go after quality product if I'm purchasing it or reviewing it, honestly. I try not to review anything that's kind of, you know, janky for lack of a better term either. And in using it in the projects that I've used it with, I've been impressed. And I really do recommend it to people if they're looking for a great quality light at a good affordable price. So yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I think I covered all the talking points that I, uh, I wanted to go over. And hopefully, GVM, hopefully you guys like this video. I really try to be non-biased when it comes to my reviews of products. I try to give people the honest opinion that I get from the product from the get-go. So yeah, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys got something from this. Maybe hit that thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.